Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. I'm back here with the training dummies during the Christmas event in Argrimmar to do another video for you guys when it comes to Outlaw Rogues and Energy. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, I think I've had this question since I started my YouTube channel. I think since about 2,000, 3,000 subs. I've been having the same question revolve around me over and over and over again. How do you have so much energy as an Outlaw Rogue? And in the past it's been a question, how do you have so much energy as a Combat Rogue? So, Basically, the way the spec is designed is you have so many ways of generating energy as an alpha rogue, but a lot of people spam out their energy and then they cut do the pants down when they have nothing going on. So it's all about learning your spec and it comes from reading the spellbook. Actually, just reading the spellbook alone is enough to understand where alpha rogue gets his, damage, uh, gets his energy from, but I will go over the spec and exactly what I do for energy regeneration. And I'll take a look at a bunch of my talents. First of all, what are the abilities that are allowing me to generate energy a little bit more? As an Outlaw Rogue, you naturally have a little bit more energy regeneration than the other specs, so it's a lot like what a Combat Rogue of Pandaria was. You simply just have a little bit more energy than everybody else. Second, you have Combat Potency, which if you have a fully built up weapon, and I have actually a Relic in mine, but it would normally read your offhand attacks, which are your mastery hits, and your normal auto attack, offhand attacks. Your offhand attacks have a chance to generate 19 energy, but for you guys, it will be 18, unless you have a relic like I do. So, we have Master Hits, which main hand attacks have a 50% chance in PvP to be about 25 or 30, no, well, 20, 30, 40, more or less, to trigger an attack with your offhand weapon that deals decent physical damage. Those attacks also have a chance to grab combat potency. So, as an Outlaw Rogue, first rule, Always be touching somebody. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to kill a mage, whether you're trying to kill a hunter, whoever you're trying to kill, let's say for example, uh, we have a target on the right who is my main kill target. I want to cross this guy out, but then we have this healer who's nearby. And I can never catch up to the cross, let's say. Can never catch up to him, let's say he's a demon hunter, he keeps always running me, or a survival hunter, and it's really difficult to catch him. But I can stay near the healer while I'm moving to the uh, to my kill target. At all times what I'm doing is at least touching some target. As long as I'm touching a target, I at least am giving myself a chance to keep generating combo points, or keep generating energy. I have master hits and auto attacks that allow me a chance to generate an ability. So at all times, touch anything. Let's say you, let's say it's, this is a hunter's pet, right? You're touching a hunter's pet, like this guy has one right here, and this is the hunter, you're trying to reach him. You are running to the hunter, the pet is running with you, the pet is to the side, so what you basically do is turn yourself, right click the pet so you're auto attacking it, but keep running to the hunter. Keep running to the hunter, because that's your main target, you're trying to get to the hunter, but keep touching the pet, keep touching anything nearby. Because you at least giving yourself a chance to keep generating energy, and as you fill up with energy, you can just spend a saber slash just to generate common points so you can invest those common points in the future. Another thing that's helping me generate a little bit more energy is Alacrity, which most rogues are running. If you are currently running Killing Spree or trying out Cannibal Barrage, they're really lackluster for PvP currently. Maybe in patch 7.1, Killing Spree might be a viable option. But most rogues are running Alacrity, and it is the build you should be running with Alacrity for arenas, if you're doing 2s or 3s, especially. Because you are you basically after doing, getting through so many finishers and so many roll the bones rolls and so many uh, between the eyes and run throughs, especially when it comes to a burst where you, you are basically just spamming run through back to back to back, you generate a lot of haste. 20% extra haste means a lot more energy regeneration. So it allows you not only to be generating energy when you're touching somebody for a chance, but also you have 20% haste stat. And it's really difficult to drop 20% haste as long as you keep using energy because it's like a 20 second window for you to have alacrity. So in 20 seconds, you'll find a reason for you to either re-roll your bones or use a run through since your captain common points or use it between the eyes to stun an enemy for a lineup. So Alacrity ends up kind of fitting in nicely and it's getting a buff in 7.1.5. So it'll be that much easier and faster for you to stack it in arenas in the future. Another one of the things that can help you in terms of energy regeneration or better yet energy conservation by generating more common points, Swordmaster or Quick Draw. Right now, it is difficult to decide whether Swordmaster Quick Draw is good. I've seen Outlaw Rogues running Quick Draw and they're performing at 2200. I've seen Outlaw Rogues running Swordmaster and performing 2400. And vice versa, 2200, 2400. So it doesn't really matter which one you run. Ghost of Strike is an interesting ability, but in PvP right now, and probably in the next patch, we're going to be running Quick Draw or Swordmaster. I'm leaning towards Quick Draw in the next patch, but for now, 
these both abilities allow you either an extra slash of uh, saber slash even though you don't have jolly roger so one ability for 50 energy which is saber slash will generate two combo points so you are ahead already or quick draw where they're on free hits of saber slash you're able to generate one uh, combo point from saber slash second from the bonus and then two from a pistol shot so you basically spend 50 energy for a chance to get four combo points and a free pistol shot so it's a way for you to conserve energy so it's a chance of course so you will have to rely on a little bit rng but the rng is usually not all that bad and with other tips that i can provide you guys you will most likely be able to get a lot more energy conservation in this video so let me go on for the rest of the tips one of the other talents that i also thought about is really really helpful in terms of uh energy conservation is dirty tricks your gouge blind cheap shot and sap no longer cost any energy so when you open up on enemies with a cheap shot you have a full bar of energy none of it lost when you gouge an enemy whether you can use it for combo points or to cc an enemy either way you want to do it it's no energy at all so it allows you to build a combo point cc the enemy for four seconds stop him in his tracks maybe stop a healer from casting generate a comp point and no energy at all so that helps out a ton another mechanic which is very just something you could do as a player and this is something that takes a little bit of practice it is none of these other abilities it is none of these other special abilities as well is no cooldowns it's simply called energy pooling so as an outlaw rogue you simply just got to play with a rule in mind when you're hitting somebody let's say an enemy and you got a decent buff and you're just auto attacking them and attacking them and generating combo points unless you are trying to build up for a specific combo points or unless you're trying to burst an enemy you should never spend your full energy to just spam it out and then have nothing left like let's say i'm drained i got a lot of combo points but i can't really do much i run through i'm if i were to run through earlier i would be drained completely bammed it out oh i can't do anything pistol shot run through bam out saber slash drained you never want to keep yourself in a drain situation. Instead, what you want to do is generate combo points as you cap out. And this is called energy pooling. You pull your energy, and unless you're trying to set something up like a burst, you're never really trying to spend too much energy. As an outlaw rig, you do have pistol shots, which help you not fall too far behind on the, co on the uh, concept of sustained damage. And as you can see, I'm basically keeping myself at full energy as best I can, and using free pistol shots when possible thanks to Swordmaster. I'm able to maintain energy regeneration, maintain combo point generation, and without putting myself at a disadvantage. And then you get once in a blue moon buffs like Bird Treasure, which you can take advantage of and make this whole transition for energy pulling a little bit easier. Make it that much more welcoming because it does get a little bit jarring to just have to wait in PvP. But yeah, as an outlaw rogue, you don't really need to spam out energy. But once you got a lineup, you got some damage going, yes, spend all that energy, spend it as much as you can until you can't spend no more if you got any kind of burst coming up feel free to do so and that's the general concept and i guess a lot of you guys might look at this and be like wow i can't believe what this would work in pve you kind of just spam out your abilities and trying to have a sustained damage in pvp you don't really need good sustained damage at all times you're just trying to build up for a good buff build up for common points because in pvp you just need this one lineup just one moment where you pop all of your cooldowns to kill a target I guess another talent that I guess I could talk about a little bit is Controller's King. Run with Controller's King in Battlegrounds, especially. When enemies around you within 40 yards, which is as far as my grappling hook goes. 40 yard radius around you. 40 yards are stunned, silenced, or polymorphed to gain 3 seconds of a general rush. So, in a BG situation and you have some mage going crazy with polymorphs, he's literally fueling you with free adrenaline rushes. And... In PvP, in arenas, and really any situation, whether you stun, whether somebody else stuns, whether someone else silences, whether someone else polymorphs, as long as they're friendly, you get free adrenaline rush. So this ends up being kind of helpful. So this will be helpful for you in the moments where you might not feel like, oh, I have enough adequate energy coming out. And this kind of helps supplement a little bit to it. But I wouldn't say that you should rely on control skin too much. There's been only a few moments where I had like 10 seconds worth of duration of control skin back to back to back. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and hope this was a little bit helpful to you guys in terms of energy uh, regeneration, energy conservation, energy pulling and all that jazz. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see any more of these types of small guide videos on Outlaw Rogue, 
then feel free to write a comment about it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next one.